Hello friends! Previously we checked out the HD Moguri mod for Final Fantasy IX. In this video I'm going to show you how to install it on your Steam Deck. The fun created Moguri mod is the remaster Square Enix should have done when they released Final Fantasy IX for PC and modern consoles. It upgrades all the backgrounds and restores the original font in the game. For more information about the mod, check my previous video. And now, let's install it on your deck! To install the mod, you'll need the Steam Deck, a mouse, a keyboard and a USB-C hub to connect them. I would also recommend connecting an external display and a power supply. If you want to transfer your saves, you'll need a USB memory stick or some other way to transfer files. So, first order of business once again is to switch to the desktop mode and you can now use the keyboard and mouse to do everything you need. Uh, so you can click here the theme menu, power and switch to desktop. This will take a moment. Now, if you don't have Final Fantasy IX installed, open Steam from here, hit library, and let's install Final Fantasy IX. If you have a filter by ready to play games, turn it off and then search for Final Fantasy. And there we go, we have Final Fantasy IX here. And let's hit install. Then, this is important, don't install it in your memory card. This tutorial only covers installing the mod on the internal storage, so it has to be this home deck local share Steam. Hit next, and it will start installing. Then let's download the mod. So open Firefox or any other browser you have installed. Valve re recently removed the default installation of Firefox, so if you click on the Firefox icon and it opens the Discover Store, install Firefox from there first and then click on the Firefox icon again. If you have Chrome or Edge or Opera or whatever installed, it will work just as fine. Okay, then let's download the mod. So search for Moguri mod. There we go. And it should be this site's google.com. It's on the install page click on install, you can find it right here. So just click download, it should take, start downloading it immediately. So this will take a moment, so just let it download. Three hours, if it's taking that long, remember to move your mouse from time to time, especially if you're on battery power, otherwise your Steam Deck will go to sleep and it will never finish. Okay, now it picked up. Oh yeah, Steam was downloading Final Fantasy IX and that was taking all the bandwidth. Okay, now it should go fast. The download has finished, so let's click on this folder icon and we should see where it has downloaded. So this is a zip file, we need to unzip it first before we can use it, so right click on it and extract archive here. Let's go. This will take a moment. You should keep these files in your downloads folder for the next step. We will need to teach Steam that these are Windows files and those may not work if they are not under your home folder. So this downloads folder is just fine. Let's just wait for the extraction to finish. Okay, that was fast. So what we have here is the original zip file that contained the files and then we have the installer and then some data files for the installer. This is an .exe file, so it's a Windows executable and Steam Deck cannot run it. So if you double click on it, let's see what happens if you try to execute it. It doesn't know what to do with it. So now we need to tell Steam that it's a Windows game. But before that, we need to do some preparations. Uh, tick up your Steam and we need to tell Steam that, hey, let's pretend this mod installer is a game. So let's hit add a game add a non-Steam game and this list doesn't include it so hit browse and then go to your home folder so home and then the deck and then we should find downloads and it doesn't show anything here because it's only showing these desktop links so switch to all files and then find the Moguri mod exe file and double click on that and then add selected programs then we still have this search on, so let's remove that. And if you are sorting by recent activity, it will be on the bottom, I think. Yeah, here we go, Moguri mod, and let's hit play. It still can't launch it because once again, it's a Windows app and we need to make it work on Linux. So hit properties, compatibility, and choose force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And let's go with Proton 7. Point zero. So I usually go with the stable ones, then click close. And if you hit play now, we should get the installer. 
there we go so here's the mod installer and it's a windows app so let's hit next uh, there's a nice browse button here but unfortunately it's bugged so let's see how we can get it working so if you use this one and oh hello steam so even if if i choose some while here it doesn't update here so we need to manually add Final Fantasy 9 here. So let's open Steam once again. Hello Steam. Go to the library. And then let's right click on Final Fantasy 9 and hit manage and browse local files. Let's close Steam. And then let's copy this address here. So select it and copy. And then let's go back to the installer. And let's paste the address here. So let's just erase this one and paste it here. And then the keyboard is on the way. So let's move it out and let's hit next. Uh, let's see what happens if we hit install. So we should start seeing something happening. Yeah. So it updated the launcher file immediately. And it will take a little bit, but it will then install all of the other things as well. So now just wait. Okay, and it's finished. I think that was a bit faster than the Final Fantasy VII uh, Satsuki Yadoshi mod installation. Now let's see if it works. So it should be just like launching the regular Final Fantasy IX. So open library and go to Final Fantasy IX and hit play. Let's see what happens. Last time I had some weird issue that uh, after installing the mod, it didn't launch before I restarted the Steam Deck, but this looks very promising. And there we go, we have the launcher here. Let's see if it works. Okay, looks good. And there we have it. So, the game is running. Uh, let's do a little bit cleanup before we go and then let's optimize the settings. So let's remove the Mogri mod installer from the Steam. So right click on it, manage and remove non-skin theme game. But this only removes it from Steam. It will still leave the installer files on your device and those take quite a bit of storage space. So open Dolphin browser and go to downloads and just select everything Mogri related, right click on them and then hold shift and choose delete and then delete everything. That's it. Uh, we have saved a bunch of space. And then let's switch to the gaming mode. So in the gaming mode, let's do a little bit of setup for Final Fantasy IX. You would be able to play it as is, but let's make it a bit nicer. So open Final Fantasy IX and go to the settings and then go to properties, open general and select game resolution and choose whatever is the highest. I choose 4K here and choose a set resolution for internal and external display. This allows us to run the game in high resolution and super sample it down for smoother edges on the models. Uh, the game doesn't support any, any kind of anti-aliasing, but this will allow it for us. Uh, go back in here. Next, let's set up the controller. So choose the controller here and it defaults to this one. Game, a gamepad with joystick trackpad. It works, but we can do better than that. So I like to go to the community layouts and here's this uh, PSX Plus game boosters from Gulby Dude. So let's choose that one. Let's view it now. So basically it's just the basics plus the rear buttons are mapped to the cheats that are available in it. The most important one here is R5 uh, for safe travel. That means it turns off the, the battles. We can just close this one and let's edit it a little bit. Hit edit layout and let's make the trackpad work as a mouse that's useful for the launcher. So by default, the right trackpad is map the joystick so let's change that as mouse so now it will move the mouse and we all also need to click 
So choose that one, go to mouse and choose left mouse click and that's it. Hit B to go back to this menu and hit play. You should be created with the launcher. And here we go. Now you should be able to use the right trackpad or the touchscreen to use this one. Okay, let's go through over the options. So the orchestral music, it changes some of the songs to new ones. I highly recommend the 30 FPS video, widescreen, this skip intros. I leave these to default and use the PSX font. Yes, that's, that's excellent. Uh, let's go over the cheats. So I'm a dirty cheater, so I will enable the 100% steal rate. I will also disable can't concentrate. And then we can leave this speed mode on and otherwise I like this. It will remove the permanent trance and max damage altogether. Those, I, I don't think they are very useful, but you can still have the no random battles. That's uh, mapped to the R5 button in the rear. So, so hit that to disable the battles. And then let's choose the resolution. This will look a bit weird, but I will just go with the highest one. And I think that should be it. So hit play and we should be good to go with the game. And there we go. Let's hit new game. With this setup, you use the Japanese style right button B chooses and bottom button A cancels. If you don't like that, you can go to the controller settings and swap A and B buttons. There's one more thing I want to show you, how to transfer your saves from your desktop computer. Okay, first we need to copy the save file from our desktop machine. So the save file is a little bit hidden, but it's not impossible to find. Uh, let's search for uh, and let's see, my save location on Google. And you should get a link to this PSA Gaming Wiki. So here you can find the save location. Uh, let's open file browser. I have the memory stick here. And let's open another, another copy. So you should be able to just uh, copy this one. and then paste it here and there you should have the save file and then let's open the memory stick and just copy and paste it then just remove the memory stick from your desktop and move it to your steam deck once again we need to go back to the desktop mode so open Firefox and Google and let's see nine save location. So let's open that one. And on this page you can see the, it's it's in this Steam folder, Steam Apps Combat Data 377840 PFX. And but that's not really where it's located. So let's open Steam and right click on Final and once again, browse local files. And then go up a little bit to the Steam Apps folder. And let's see. So it's in the uh, com Steam Apps Compact Data 37784. These are weirdly arranged. So here's the Final Fantasy IX folder and then PFX. And then this is not where the save is, so now we should be looking at where the save is on Windows. So go to App Data. Well, that's not as straightforward, so open Drive C and then go to Users, Steam User, and then we have the App Data. And then it's under Local Low, Square Enix, Final Fantasy IX, Steam Encrypted Save Data. And here we have the original save data. Let's rename that to Back. And then uh, connect your stick and hit the split view. And if you scroll down, you should see your memory stick here. Mine is called Tupla. And then my save is here. And then just copy it from your memory card. Okay. And let's see if it works. Go to Steam. Launch Final Fantasy 9. Hit play. And now you should be able to choose load game. I think I'm at slot 6. There we go. And there we have it. I'm 
hanging out with my golden chocobo. So now it's just up to you to enjoy the game. Have fun! So that's how you install the Moguri mod on your Steam Deck. Not too tricky, right? If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments box below. If you want to see more tutorials like this or other retro gaming stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.